Hello guys and welcome back into a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assign case to queue in Salesforce. So make sure to watch the video to the end and follow these simple steps. So first, what we need just to go to this icon or the setup menu. And from there, we need just to search for setup. And after that, we will need just to go and search for the queues. So here, I'm just going to search for queues and I'm just going to select it. And from there, we can create a new queue. So I already have one. We can choose whatever you like for your queue. You can label it uh, however you like. So let's just go for new. You can give it a label, queue name, queue email, whatever you like. And then you will need just to click on save. So now, and for the queue object or the supported object, make sure always to choose the case queue since we are uh, creating a case queue. So after that, we will need just to go to, uh, we are going to create case assignment rules. So from here, I'm just going to search for case assignment rules and you can uh, choose for that or we can do for that as many queues as you want or uh depends on how many cases you want to handle so from here i'm just going to click on case assignment rule and i'm just going to create a new rule and from here i'm just going uh name it rule uh, case rule or whatever then i'm going to save it after that we will need just to start creating the, uh, the entry for these rules so as you can see, we didn't specify any entry. I'm just going to click on new and now we can add our entries. So here you can choose the source order. I'm just going to do one and run this rule if the criteria is met, for example. And here in the field, I'm just going to choose a case and we will choose a case record type. And we can find it here. We can choose whatever you like for example the case number or whatever you would like and from here we are going to add an operator for example it equals and from there we are going to choose uh, the value it can be uh, you can choose for a product support or any uh, value that you would like i'm going to choose for example a uh, feature request or whatever i'm just going to click on insert the selected and now i will have it here and after that in the user we will need just to start using our queues so as you can see we can go from here by choosing a uh, user or you can choose from a queue and here you can add all the queues that you will have and now i'm going just to choose my queue that i have created and i'm going to click on save a new and now i will be able to have the case for this queue and this is how you can do it. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.